Hey, welcome to enumerating BACnet systems with the Nmap scripting engine. My name is Phil Zito, and I will be going through what exactly the Nmap scripting engine is, what BACnet systems are, and what is the point of enumerating BACnet systems with the Nmap scripting engine. So, first off, credit to this Nmap script goes to Stephen Hilt. The code for this script can be found on his GitHub page at uh, this URL right here. Just pause for a second if you want to jot it down. What is a building automation system, or BAS, and why should you care? A building automation system controls HVAC, lighting, power, security and fire, suppression, variety of different systems throughout the building. Um, we're actually starting to see where building automation systems are becoming integrated with IT and specialty systems within other buildings. So it's ever more pertinent to be aware of what building automation systems are within your network. They typically reside on the building network providing a great pivot point. What I mean by that is a building automation system typically is a fully functional Linux or Windows OS sitting in a box with an IP address and a bunch of open ports and it's sitting on the IT network. Uh, additionally, usually it is lagging current services and operation operating system patches due to the specialty nature of the device. What do I mean by that? Well, the building automation systems what happens with them is when they're developed they have so many different integration points between the different protocols that they're very heavily dependent on the frameworks and the code versions that they're developed in for example .NET, Java, etc. So if there's a patch for .NET or for Java or one of those it oftentimes cannot be applied until the building automation system is put in a different uh, either a hot patch or a release and sent out to the customer because just going and applying that framework first off these are embedded OS's so you really wouldn't have a way to apply the framework um, second off even if you did you may end up breaking something that's dependent on the framework in which this building automation system was developed so what is nmap scripting engine well, it allows Nmap to run scripts during its scanning process. This is slightly repetitive for those of you who already know this, but it's important to understand. Nmap scripting engine is an embedded Lua interpreter. What that means, remember, interpreters can execute code without compilation. So unlike C, where it has to be compiled, an interpreter would be more similar to Python, where you directly type code in and it directly executes. Uh, you can read more about Nmap Scripting Engine at the Nmap Web Manual right here. Now uh, I'm going to give you an example of some code uh, that was developed by Stephen Hilt. And what's going to happen today is we're going to load our libraries in this Nmap script. We are then going to connect via the scan and we're going to go through an array that has a list of building automation types and you can see there's a whole bunch of them here and we're going to scroll down a little bit more and some of these are actually SCADA types they're not building automations but hey it's good to know anyways so once we've got this information then we're going to go through a series where we're going to grab vendor ID, firmware, object name, software version and location and what we're going to do with this information is we are then going to parse through it and feed it back as results from the NMAT script. If we are able to grab information with this port, we are then going to try to do some basic queries against this port. Now, BACnet, the protocol we'll be scanning, is a very common ASHRAE 135. ASHRAE is the American Society for Heating and Refrigeration Engineers and they created the protocol BACnet which is BACnet IP Internet Protocol or BACnet MSTP. BACnet IP which we'll be scanning for today is on UDP port 47808 so um, it's a connectionless protocol and it's on that port right there so when you see the script you'll understand why it's written that way. So it's going to parse through these, it's going to do queries and it's a Additionally, going to try to connect if it can find any points 
is going to try to connect to those points and it's going to try to actually enumerate points try to see if it can get any points um, and data associated with those points so what does that mean basically a BACnet IP device will have BACnet ID and then it'll have BACnet points underneath it and those BACnet points are what actually control the building okay so I'm going to pause the video for a second as I switch over to my Linux machine give me just a second okay so I've got my nmap up here you can see that I've loaded into my Linux OS where I'm going to be running the script I've got the script on here I um, have done a scan with nmap just to make sure I can see the devices you can see I can see them right here but I'm not getting a lot of detail so now I'm gonna go in and just for convenience sake I have the actual command just copied right here just to save us a little bit of time so I go in here I type the script and it's gonna say that it failed to determine a route but it'll still execute so let's give it a second to do that I'm gonna pause the video while it does alright since I don't have the patience to wait for VM player to try to actually route stuff through my NATed network I'm just going to actually run ZenMap so I'm running directly off my computer here and I'm gonna run ZenMap and do an initial scan right here you can see so I'm telling it I want to scan UDP ports so dash underscore little s u dash p 47808 I don't want to use DNS because I am off the network right now okay and then I'm going through here and I'm doing some scripting backnet discover enumerate that's the script and I'm saying I want to scan the subnet so what happens when I do that is I pick up two systems alright see I've got one right here I've got a second one. I've actually got two BASs attached to my network right now. So you can imagine if you've got a large hospital network, you can use this to find all the building automation systems because quite often they aren't documented where they are and people don't really know what's sitting. You can have BACnet IP lighting sensors, BACnet IP power sensors. You have a bunch of BACnet IP devices and not know where they are. And those are typically embedded machines and those can be compromised so it's a good way to audit your network and it's something that traditional network audits don't look for so when you're gonna do that alright so I do my scan I pull that I pull right here I pull the 210 address is my next scan so I enumerate this I find my Johnson controls and e, it tells me the backnet object identifier so if I wanted to attempt to connect to this backnet IP device and pull its points or do something like that I could do that. If I wanted to look up any vulnerabilities with this firmware, uh, I could do that. I find the object name, I find the model name, and I've got the MAC address. So right off the bat, I've done some pretty good enumeration to find out some information about these BACnet devices that are on that network. So then I go and I do my next scan, which is the Dash 91, and I pull the other device. So you can see 47808, it's UDP showing it open backnet alright it's telling you what service it is it's saying this is the vendor ID this is the object identifier it's not saying what firmware it has application software DG box that's the software or that's the model an object so those are two things that I have sitting on my network right now actually uh, just moved to Milwaukee so I've got them sitting on cardboard boxes on my floor but you can see to give you background here so we wanted to know what building automation systems were on our network that way we would be able to understand what um, different attack vectors people could take to compromise non-traditional IP systems so we did a network scan dash 24 is our subnet this could be any subnet you know you use any CIDR notation um, depending on the size and class of your network 
then from there we go and we do our 210 scan so that we can get details for that just that device and then we move and we do a scan right here so to summarize what we were able to do with the script is we were able to go and find the building automation system so now we know what building automation system we have we were able to find out its object identifier which would allow us to connect to it um, and do command and control to BACnet points if BACnet uh, routing is enabled we know the firmware so any vulnerabilities with that version firmware or model we now know we can uh, do some more research on that model we can find out you know what OS is it what kind of embedded OS is it what uh, I, uh, webs uh, what web server it's running and um, we know it's MAC address so then we can just do traditional nmap scans and we can do vulnerability scans with you know Nessus or um, QualsGuard a variety of different things since most of these are web based machines and find out what vulnerabilities exist well, thank you for watching this video. I hope you have learned a fair bit around BACnet enumeration, how easy it is to find uh, BACnet devices on your network, and then why you need to be aware of them and the vulnerabilities that exist. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please post it in the comments section. Thanks.